Hey kiddos, today we're gonna do our guided drawing. It's Monday, happy Monday. So last week we talked about spring in our science and this week we're gonna be talking about recycling. And you might even, if we're quiet, you might even hear something outside right now. Let's listen. What do you hear? I hear birds. It's spring. And I thought with recycling and the earth and everything, today our guided drawing would be of some little birdies. So what you need is you need, of course, a black crayon or a black marker. And just choose a variety of colors that you might like. Um, I use markers. You, of course, can use crayons. Um, but I use different ones. I used orange turquoise, yellow, green, purple. So maybe six, seven, eight colors, maybe a variety. So then you can decide when you get there. After you get those, come back and let's get started, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the bottom. Normally I have you start in the middle, but today we're gonna start from the bottom so we make sure we have room for all of our birdies. So we're gonna start with our birdie on the bottom and we're gonna make his two legs, or her two legs, whatever we wanna say. So we make her two legs, and then we're gonna make a boat. That will hit those two legs. Then we're gonna connect those two lines, and this is where we can make the beak. You can also make the eye and color that in now. Girls, you love to make your eyelashes. Because if we don't make eyelashes, it kind of looks a little mean. And then we can make the little tail. And inside, we'll just make the wing now. It's just a little tinier boat inside. Now, once we have our first bird, now we're gonna build off our bird. So then we draw our two legs off of the top of our other bird and we draw another boat. We connect those two and we do the same thing, but we're gonna do it on the opposite side. So we made his eye and the beak on this side. This time we're gonna go on this side. Do a little, little tail, a little wing, okay? And we could even be like, oh, this is the daddy and the mommy and the baby because the one on top, of course, is the smallest. So we make the two legs, and then we wanna make sure we have enough room for our last bird. And we make our boat again, and then we make the line to connect them. And now we're gonna go back to the other side to make the beak, the eye, the lash, and the tail. And don't forget the wing inside, okay? So now I have my bird, now I can choose my colors. Like I said, you can choose whatever colors you want. Maybe I wanna do turquoise for this tail, and I wanna do the wing also turquoise. So maybe I do all that, or maybe I want every single piece of my birds to be different. It's your bird, right? So you can do whatever you'd like to do. Maybe I wanna just do one wing purple and I wanna say goodbye to my purple because I'd rather do more yellow. Maybe I want to do a yellow tail and I want to do this birdie yellow. Okay. So once you have all of your birdies colored, so this is when all of my birdies were colored. So I chose, like I said, I chose pinks and 
purples and oranges and turquoises, then you can decide what you want to do for your background. Now, maybe you just want to do, I don't know, a design. Maybe you don't want to color at all because that's a lot. Miss Hemaway, as you saw in hers, it's all green, but I used watercolors, so it was a little faster than having to color all of it. Maybe you want to just make a design. Maybe you want to do swirls all around to make it pretty and make it fancy. Or maybe you want to do lines to fill it in. Or like remember with our bunny last week, we made circles. Or hey, if it's a combination of everything, you can. So it's up to you. Remember, even though I'm showing you how to start it, it's still your birdie, right? It's still, I guide you, but it's still your creation. Just like this is my creation, is yours gonna look like mine? No, because ours are all different and they're all special in its own way. So thanks for joining me, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.